Where'd you get that rifle? Find M1. How'd you know it's an M1? GI's here. Four years. Texar. You good dog robber. Yeah. You talk more like a dog face than a gook. I am no gook. I am Korean. All right, all right, all right. So you're not a gook. Can't say that again. Bullet in head, yes? Bullet in head, no. Hard head. Bullet went in the front, spun around inside, and came out here. See if there's any ammo on those guys. I know. 30 caliber. Where's your people? With Buddha. Huh? Dead? I read artillery. Big stuff. Yeah. No bullets, all swipe by enemy. Well, I got no chocolate show around. I'll give you a cigar. Right. Yeah. Shove off. Don't take any wood in the end. Quit following me. Kachi kachi da. That means we must travel together. Yeah, well, you go kachi kachi by yourself. But your heart is in my hands. My what is where? Buddha say when you save a friend, his heart is in your hands. Look, you've done your good deed for today. Now blow. I don't like kids around me. But I good scout. Don't need one. I know where a river is. So do I. But you sick, bad wound. <clears throat> You're on your own, get it? Grab yourself a steel pot, you might need one. Get yourself a pair of clodhoppers. Choose. No, no. No, over there. Take Pee Wee Johnson's. That's it.
put that paper on your back for? It's a prayer to Buddha, asking him to heal me if I'm wounded. Oh, yeah? Thought you forgot to take out the price tag. There. Let's go short round. What a short round. It's a bullet that don't go all the way, and that's you, bud. You're not going all the way with me. Just till we meet some goop, some South Koreans will take you off my neck. for Korean heroes. Yeah. Well, if anything happens, hit the dirt. Eat rice. Bad wound. She wants your help. Huh? Well, these red gorillas dress like women, huh? You can say that again. Yeah. Get the weapons and ammo. Let's go. Chocolate. See anything? Can you? No. You feel it? Can you? Yeah. I feel it. So you were a prisoner for six hours, huh? Yeah. They cut up my platoon when we pulled back across the river. How come they didn't murder all you guys, too? They did. Kept me alive to patch up their casualties. Because you had plenty of chances to find out how those reds treat you, guy. I hate a gut. That's not what Joe Stalin says. There are 15 men out there to prove it. Sure your head's all right? Sure. I knew a PFC in Germany. Had a bullet ripped right through his belt. Didn't even graze his skin. So you're in the last one, too, huh? From Africa to Czechoslovakia. Red Ball Express? Yeah. To ask for volunteers for a rifle outfit. 16th Infantry, 1st Division. Yeah, it was to prove you guys could shoot besides you drive trucks, I remember. You another retread? I was with the 16th. Must have looted all of Korea. 
Yeah, I got away with Bo Kucha before I took off. Too bad they can't make a bulletproof helmet. Yeah. Did you stay in after the last one? No. Went back to school, GI Bill. Well? Go to Paris? Paint any of them pictures? No. Took up surgery. Yeah? Where, in a butcher shop? You must have been hit in the mouth. Yeah. D-Day, Normandy, by 88. Half my back, I'm, we I'm wearing on my face. You know what? My face gets tired, I sit down. Sarge, what's that on your back? Huh? You and your Buddha. Circles, Lieutenant. I'm not interested in your hunches. Yes, sir. Hey, you ballerinas, you're all bunched up. Where'd you learn to go on a patrol of special service? Holy smoke. Sounds like Sour Puss himself. Hey, that you, Zach? Yeah. Who the head? Yeah. Where are you? Smack in front of you. Ah. Iron Mike Zach? Yeah. Who's that? Driscoll. Lieutenant Driscoll. Well, heard you were killed in France, the invasion. You had plenty of chances to leave the States and find out. Where's your officer? Fertilizing a race paddy with the rest of the patrol. What happened, Zach? We were supposed to get a PW. <laughs> they got us instead, ambushed. <laughs> Wiped out the whole mess. Tied our hands behind us with shoelaces and massacred us. I was lucky. You're the only survivor? Yes, sir. What's your story? I was lucky too, sir. Uh -huh. Regiment's been getting a lot of stories about stragglers. I'm Corporal Thompson, sir. 24th Division, 19th Infantry, 3rd Battalion Medics. They kill every man in my platoon. I saw them throw three into a barn fire. And I'm no straggler. Who's the... Uh... He's a Korean. Boy, do you know where the Chang Asa Temple is? I ask you, do you know... What's the matter? Doesn't he understand English? Sure. He just doesn't like it. We got fouled up, Zach. We're lost. You don't know that's how it is all the time, Buddhahead. Nobody knows where we are except the enemy. Sergeant Tanaka, you'll make excuses for my patrol when I tell you to. Understand? Yes, sir. Now we have to establish an OP. The quicker we find that temple, the better. Did if you ever establish an observation post, Lieutenant? Don't be impertinent, Sergeant. All right, all right, all right, Lieutenant. Nobody's holding you back. Do you know where the front is? Sure. Four points of the compass. I'm borrowing a bandolier. Let's go, Doc. Sergeant Zach. I know you hate my guts, but we need an experienced man. You happen to have that experience. Look, Lieutenant, you know? got nothing out there but rice patties crawling with commies, just waiting to slap you between two big hunks of rye bread and wash you down with fish eggs and vodka. Good luck.
up on those boys. Sure it is. They don't even have a medic with them. Look, Thompson, nobody's holding you back. It's me, I gotta come out of this. That bazooka man. He's a good Joe, but he can't hold that patrol again. But if his eyes weren't slanted the wrong way, then Driscoll would listen to him. That lieutenant needs you. Hey, smart. That red is smart. Snipe him with a burp gun. That's using his head. Yeah. Don't leave him fire like ballerinas. Oh, Doc, that's all. Two snipers with burp safe out it. Short round, stay here. Come on, Doc. I'll slap your ears off. You understand? I'll yell if I need you, Doc. Yeah. They're not supposed to be seen, Lieutenant. Hey. Over there. Over there. Come on. A couple of burps in the trees. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's, let's make, make money. money. Come on, let's go. What are we waiting for? He lives. Try my right rear for the other one. Fix on my piece. Okay, got it. Yeah. You ready? 
Yeah. All right. Let's make some money. Okay, you ballerinas, on your toes. Come on, kid, let's go. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Up on your toes. Come on, it's all over. Come on, get up, let's go. Come on, up, up, let's go, come on. Hey. Hey. Come on. It's all over. If you run into any more snipers, spot them first and don't stop firing till they drop. It's like a Kraut Schmeisser. Yeah. Made in Russia. Let's go. What are you lugging that box around for? It's an organ. What are you, a wise guy? It's a portable organ, Sergeant. Show me. Go ahead. Show him. All right, all right, you showed me. That's you, fat Paul. It belonged to Father Paul, the chaplain. The H.E.R. was burned off in a fire. My name's Brody. Yeah, you should be lugging ammo, not a music box. I have my specified amount of ammunition. Uh, there ain't no specified amount of ammo. This is your first dance, too? Yes, sir. She won't hurt yourself with that. What do you do to make your living in the Army? I'm the radio operator. Yeah? What are you gonna do? Clob the Reds with those bottles? Well, they didn't have the right change at the PX back at Poussin. So I took it out in hair tonic. Oh, one of those kind of guys, huh? Let's see what kind of permanence you got. Who scalped you? I lost all my hair when I was a kid. Yeah, how? Scarlet fever. Come on, Buster. Let's go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! And you ballerina smoke cigars? I got a box in my pack. Oh, yeah? What kind? I don't know. I don't smoke. I just found them. I'll see as far as the temple for the stogies. You know where it is? Let's go. are smart. They hide behind them white pajamas and wear them women's clothes, make the kids play their bombing targets. They're smart. We're wasting our time. Look, I want to come out of this. I don't want to turn my back and have some old lady shoot my head off. They all look alike to me. 
Do you know how to tell the difference, Fat Paul? No. He's a South Korean when he's running with you, and he's a North Korean when he's running after you. Well, Sergeant, I told you it was a waste of time. If I was right all the time, I'd be an officer, Lieutenant. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. You don't know how embarrassing it was for me to introduce my friends to my bald-headed mother. And you're sure that her hair grew back, huh? I'm telling you. Ha. These ads in the paper can't grow your hair back, and neither can a slop in that bottle. Oh, how'd your mother get it back then? Robbing, massage. But it's knowing how to massage, and with what. Did you massage her? Of course. Don't think I'd let anybody else massage my bald-headed mother. This is the secret of it. Dirt, earth, soil. You're sure now? Makes things grow, don't it? Doesn't that make sense to you? I tell you what, when we get to the temple, I'll start working on your head. In no time, things will be sprouting. What things? Yeah, what do you want to grow on your head? Tomatoes? What'd you do in the last war? Four F? Not that I care. One A. Oh, yeah? Ship you right out, huh? What theater? Europe or the Pacific? I was a conscientious objector. I found a dead American. You sure he's dead? You gotta be sure, you know. Half his head is gone. I better check. Said his head was gone, save his strength. Did you examine him? No, sir. Smart. Did you get his dog tags? Dog tags? Are you kidding? But we ought to find out who he is. Look, Lieutenant. As long as their emotions get the best of you. Dead man's nothing but a corpse. Nobody cares who he is now. Get his dog takes. Yes, sir. Ever hear of a body being booby trapped? Get his dog tags. Big deal. Hey, uh, did he, uh, have his pack on him? He took it off for the break. Where is it? There. a short round. And take care of them. Don't break them. Chang and saw. You sure? Sure. Uh, look, when I wave you on, don't stop. Move ahead. Yeah? Let's go. 
See anything, Lieutenant? Nah. Let's go. The animal's on a porch. Figure these walls. Touch the gods or break anything. I want you to leave this temple exactly as you found it. Come on, on your feet. Oh, Come on, get up. Sake. Outside oh. and jack ass the rest of that equipment in. Come on, unpack those mules. Let's go. Oh. Hey, show around. Hmm. What are you doing? I was turning prayer wheel for good luck. For, uh, uh, obser, uh, Observation post. Oh, yeah. Hold on. 
Get your helmet off the porch. And uh, get your shoes, too. You better get them, them red rifles. You know, don't want anything left out on the porch. OK, Sergeant. Give me Dagwood 2, over. This is Dagwood 2. It's OK, sir. This is Dagwood Baker on Stephen Foster, 395345. Can you see the Swanee? Yes, I can see the Swanee. This is a must. We need a prisoner for interrogation. Yes, sir. They want to feed out of you. Are they kidding? Who's on the guns downstairs? A Joe who never talks. me calling you? Yeah? Well, Jack, ask yourself inside and stay there. I don't want any movement on this porch. Did you hear that? You know, we had a guy like you in my outfit in Africa once. Never said anything to anybody. You know what? Just like that, Kasserine Pass. Nobody ever knew what he was thinking about. Don't that bother you? Oh. One guy don't talk, one guy's a conchi, one guy's a chicken-fed lieutenant. What a fouled-up outfit I got myself into. for me? No. I wonder what this is for. I found it in one of the back rooms. 
It's a pillow. Probably belonged to one of the priests. You don't have to be touchy with us, Baldy. Take your steel pot off. Go on, Baldy. Take it off. Sure, come on, take it off, Baldy. Oh, yeah. Sure, relax. Ah. Shaved, huh? Yeah. How's it feel? It's raw. You ought to use pads on it. <sighs> You're lucky you got him along. What's the matter? Red Hayden, my belt. The pen fell on the floor. The lever's pushed against my stomach. Moonahan! Got a live one against his belly. The pen. Ah. Don't move, Lieutenant. Don't talk, don't breathe. Don't move a muscle, not an eyelash. Now hold your breath. Come on, Baldy. I'll stop that stuff sprouting. Hey, can't you? You play old Lang Syne on that music box? It's not yet maudlin, Sergeant. I ask you, can you play it? Yeah. Play it. I don't feel like it. You're lugging that organ around to play music on, aren't you? What are you lugging it around for? His father Paul gave it to me before he died. Now, don't give me a bad time. Play it. Okay, Sergeant. Sing old Lang Syne. Oh, who? What was that you sang? You pulling my leg. You play it. You know it good. What did you sing? The Korean National Anthem. You play it good. Very good. My song, Sergeant? What are you doing out here? I bring prayer for Baldy to make his hair grow. Let's have it short, Ron. It can't do any harm. Every little bit helps. What are you rubbing on my head? Like I said, uh... I don't know. He ain't helping the skull nose much by worrying. Yeah, but... Relax. But are you sure? Just leave it to me. You want to grow hair, don't you? Oh, yeah. Of course. But are you sure that this... Listen, if it's good enough for my mother, it's good enough for you.
big stuff. Oh, yeah. Sounds like incoming mail. What'd you do that for, huh? What'd you do that for? Now, you were whistling in your sleep. You sound like a shell. It ain't my fault I breathe like that. What do you want me to do, stop breathing? I'll ah, blow your nose. What's going on Something here? Something happened? Are you all right, Sergeant Sack? Why don't you guys sit up? Knock it off. Oh. Knock it off. Go on upstairs and relieve that jaw on the OP. What's the matter? Something's wrong with my neck. Yeah. Oh! Now, get your tail up there. One guy or a company of them. Twenty to one, they're in Manchuria by now. Nobody upstairs, Lieutenant. Where's Brownie? Down in the cellar. There's nobody outside. You look where you're shooting. I thought I heard something in there, sir. Nothing. I get you? Uh-uh. Come on, let's go, Shark now. Buddhist, how come you don't know nothing about hiding places? Well, you're not gonna find him standing here. Spread out and look for him some more.
He's a prize package, Lieutenant, a major. Speaks English. Where's the rest of your Russians? I'm not Russian. I'm a North Korean communist. Buddha head. You alone, Major? Where's the rest of your men? You heard the Lieutenant answer him. Or do I have to blow your head off? You won't shoot me, Sergeant. I heard the S-5 over the transceivers. You orders were to bring in the PW. You got one, as you say, a prize package. I'm too valuable to shoot, Lieutenant. Hey, Major, you've been around. Manchuria, huh? Why not leave the interrogation up to your friends in the rear? Back at regiment. May I put my hands down now? Or do I have to ask God? Why, you wait a minute. Take it easy. He's mine. Well, to me, he's worth a furlough in Tokyo. Maybe even Hawaii. Look, Buster, we ought to tie your hand behind you and throw you on a bonfire. There ain't nobody, nobody gonna touch you. Like I said, you're a prize package. Drop your hands. Bring me another cigar. Lucky the pin didn't fall out. If it had, you wouldn't have to worry about your bald head. Hey. Hey, Baldy, what are you doing down here? I asked you to stay up there till you got that fixed. Yes, sir. I was real smart, Major, smashing our communication. But Baldy's an expert. He'll have that radio working and nothing flat. You guys have a bad habit of starting something you can't finish. I just don't understand you. You can't eat with them unless there's a war. Even then it's difficult. Isn't it so? That's right. You pay for a ticket, but you even have to sit in the back of a public bus. Isn't that so? That's right. A hundred years ago, I couldn't even ride a bus. At least now I can sit in the back. Maybe in 50 years, I'll sit in the middle. Someday even up front. There's some things you just can't rush, Buster. Stupid man. You're the stupid Joe. Why don't you get wise, Buster? You're ruining my dressing. Try again. Dagwood. 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 Come in. Dagwood, come in. Come in, Dagwood. Over. This is Dagwood, too. What's the matter with you? I told you to keep this line open. Are you men asleep on that old pee? Let me talk to Driscoll. This is Driscoll, sir. Dagwood Baker. The line on Stephen Forster's open again. We had a little accident. We have a PW, a major from a crack Manchurian regiment. Sergeant Zack will bring him in. Any further instructions? What's the matter with you? Why don't you come in? We're getting nothing but static. Come in, come in, come in. That's no use, sir. We can receive, but we can't send. We gotta send. Fix it. You understand? Fix it. What's the matter with you, men? What's the matter with you, men? Over. You got the same kind of eyes I have. Hmm? You got the same kind of... I heard you. So what? They hate us because of our eyes. Major, you got a long hike ahead of you in the morning. Better get some shut eye. Doesn't it make you feel like a traitor? For a little guy with a lot of combat time, Major, you surprise me. Don't you guys know when you're licked? I surprise you. They threw Japanese-Americans into prison camps in the last war, didn't they? Perhaps even your parents. Perhaps even you. 
You rang the bell that time. They did. And some of you had to pass as Filipinos to get a job. I know. Major, you're getting sloppy as a con artist. Con? What is con? I was strictly for the birds. That's you, Major Domo, strictly for the birds. Ah, you nieces are incredible. You make no sense. If I wasn't in the army and you weren't a PW, I'd... Ah, in our country, we have rules, even about war. <laughs> Were you one of those idiots who fought in Europe for your country? 442nd Combat Team. And you know what? Over 3,000 of us idiots got the Purple Heart. You can't figure that out, Major, can you? No. That's what I don't understand. They call you dirty Jap rats, and yet you fight for them. Why? I've got some hot infantry news for you. I'm not a dirty Jap rat. I'm an American. And if we get pushed around back home, well, that's our business. But we don't like it when we get pushed around by... Ah, uh, knock off before I forget the articles of war and slap those rabbit teeth of yours out one at a time. Sure that's what you want to do? Yep. Never can tell. One of the boys might get a scratch. Huh. If I'd earn my money, I'd stick around. All set, Major? So you're all right. Three weeks in Tokyo. So long, Buddhahead. Ah, when I get out of this, I'm going to join the Air Force. No more beetle crushing for me. Oh, I'll be smart. There's nothing like the infantry. Ah. You're in a plane and you get hit. What happened? You still got to fall. Two strikes against it. You're in a ship. You get hit. You can still, you can still drown. In a tank, you can fry like an egg. But in the infantry, you get hit, and that's it. One thing or the other, you're dead or alive, but you're on the ground. Get wise. Nothing like the infantry. Is he kidding? changed your mind about getting into this one, and I don't care. But if you get into a fight, play on this 50, not on that music box. All right, Sergeant. I'll try to remember. Uh. All right, Sheriff Ron, let's go. 
Major? Sergeant Sack. Yeah? I, uh, I'd like to swap helmets with you. Oh, yeah? Why? <laughs> that sounds a little silly, but, uh, I thought maybe if I wore your helmet, it'd, uh, bring me the same kind of luck it's brought you. I'd be crossing the army if I brought you luck to live. Sergeant, I've, uh, changed my mind about a lot of things in the past hour. You have to change a lot more than your mind to get my steel pot. You're too dumb to be an officer, so you take it out on us. You're a sore head and you're jealous. That's why you hate any officer. Look, I'll tell you about an officer. And he wasn't a 90-day act of Congress like you. He was a colonel. And he didn't have to be there. It was D-Day in Normandy. When you were wearing bars in the States, and we were pinned down for three hours by Kraut Fire. This Colonel, Colonel Taylor, he got up on Easy Red Beach, and he yelled, there are two kinds of men on this beach. Those who are dead, and those who are about to die. So let's get off the beach and die inland. That officer, I'd give my steel hat to any day. find anyone else. Just one man, he's dead. Well, that's what happens when you get lost from your outfit. Where's the kid? Outside. Well, he's not going with you, Sergeant. Hmm? Why not? Hmm? and bury him. Go on. Take him out. You heard him. Sergeant Zack, like me. <clears throat> what a stupid prey. Stupid. It's a good thing this army isn't made up of fat-headed slobs like you that think this war's run by idiots. Just because those little rats kill our prisoners, no reason we have to do the same thing. No matter how sentimental or personal you get, you're supposed to be in the United States Infantry. Soldier. You're no soldier. You're just a big, dumb, stupid, selfish, fat-headed sergeant. And if it takes me 20 years, I'll see that you're shot for killing a prisoner of war. Understand? What are you waiting for, Thompson? Sew him up. Give him blood. Are you kidding? You blew a hole in as big as a tunnel. 
I can drive a truck through it. Ah! If you die, I'll kill you! Keep him alive. Look, Sarge, don't take it out on me. You're shut the one that blew your top, not me. Shut up. You shut up. No more blood. No more blood. Please. Please. A prayer. Huh? Give me a prayer. A prayer? Are you kidding? You want a prayer? You're gonna live. If the guy wants to die, let him die. If the guy wants to prayer, let him have one. You see, punk, nobody dying on me, understand? Praise. What are you, Buster? Bullets. Who the bless you? There goes your furlough, Jack. Relax. Foster operations on. Did you get that? I'll give you division artillery. This is Devardi. Give us a target. Thick skin. 870968. Yards over. Two hundred yards over. Too far to the left. Hundred yards. Too far to the left. Hundred yards. On the target. On the target. Fire. If those commies get wise, we're directing fire from this temple. They'll have every big gun from Manchuria to Moscow trying to knock us down.
you be knocking them off like this, huh? What are you going to do if you come out of this? Stay in the army? Going back to my studies. What are you going to be? A priest. What's a country like you doing in a war? I got news for you, Sergeant. If a man lives in a house that's endangered, he wants to keep on living in it. He should fight for it. Sure that Zack will be okay? Sure. Just got a headache. The enemy was pushed away from the river. Regiment's putting all of us in for silver stars, keeping the OP alive. We'll eat, then we'll bury him.
Anybody in there? What's your outfit, soldier? Say, what kind of an outfit is this? U.S. Infantry. Uh, where's your officer? Okay, come on, let's get going. Come on, fellas, let's go! Come on, Sergeant. Yes, sir. 